I am very sorry, sir, but that one isn't for sale, I'm afraid. <laughs> isn't she just the loveliest thing you've ever seen? Her name is Anamona. She's been around ever since the Hundred Years' War. Well... Oh, it was several centuries ago. Glia was in a war with Bretai, a region across the sea that lasted a hundred years. Balduk was a major battlefield then, so its history is ingrained here. Mrs. Rindal! My, my. Oh, you're one of Pendleton's daughters, aren't you? That's right, little Krisha. My goodness, how much you've grown. And we are all grateful for your service, Sir Knight. Sure. What can I do for all of you today? Well, we heard that a thief broke into your store. Oh my, you came because you were worried about us? Yes. Is there anything we could do to help? Thank you very much, Krisha. Rodario is just about to take a break. Since you're all here, why don't we enjoy some tea while we talk? And that's how the statue of the saint was stolen. Saint... You mean Saint Rose Vita? Um... St. Rosvita was a hero from the Hundred Years' War. Every Glean knows about her. She was only the daughter of a farmer, but ended up leading an army against Bretai. That's right. The stolen statue was made during the Hundred Years' War. Rodario had only recently purchased it not more than a week ago. Oh yeah? Is it worth a lot? Absolutely. And rightfully so. Though it pains us to have something of ours stolen, it's more upsetting that something made in St. Rosvita's image is the object of greed. That's awful. Hmm. Uh, about that, the culprits left a note. Is it okay if we take a look? By all means. What is this? This has got to be a joke. A prank by some punk-ass kids. That's what we thought. But there were witnesses who said they saw the monstrums. Similar notes were left in other shops. Oh, no. But there is something strange about all of this. Well... Well, this is merely an observation, but... How do I put it? Um, well, their methods were surprisingly crude. Yes, the lock on the door seemed to have been forcibly open. The hawk and the white cat are said to have remarkable powers. Isn't that right? Well, if so, then these methods would be uncharacteristically unremarkable. That's true. Have you reported this to the garrison? Yes, naturally. But they're already very busy with the many other Monstrum complaints. But that was why the Hieroglyph Knight sent you, was it not? I'm grateful that our precious Anamona is safe, at least. And it gives me comfort knowing that little Krisha came to make sure we're all right. Yes, and from what I hear from your father, you left Pendleton to start your own business. Oh, um, it's a long story. I'm sorry. I should have told everyone about it. There's no need to apologize, dear. We knew it was only a matter of time before you seized your own future. 
Ever since you were a little girl. Huh? You're stronger than you look, and you always keep your customers' best interests in mind. To be frank, we were worried knowing that you and your father don't see eye to eye. But we're positive that you'll do just fine, dear. We have faith in you. Thank you. I won't let you down. There we go. Treasure chest! Yes. 
We did it! Got it. Welcome. See ya. Free as long as we're inside the city. Damn this curse. <laughs> it's starting to get on my nerves. What good is our gifts if they won't let us help people when they need it most? I hate not being able to do anything. Well. Yeah, I'll do whatever I can to help. Maybe then I'll have a better understanding of what I have to do. Go back to being the girl who just waited for things to happen. <laughs> I only hope these thieves are going to put up a half decent fight. But I hate to say that we might have to leave this to the authorities. <sighs> Crimson King. Monstrums. <sighs> I'm pleased. <laughs> See you while working together. <laughs> Aprilis! You were terribly hurt. 
hurt. And these scars. Why? <laughs> Are you okay? Forgive me. There's no time to explain. Stop! They're not ready yet! Is this... the Grimwald Knox? Something seems different. This must be... It's the Grimwald Knox... with a full moon? I sense the presence of monsters more powerful than those we faced before. This is... Um, obviously, get... <laughs> All of you must survive this. By any means necessary. The full moon's loom. You would do well to prepare yourselves. Who's next, huh? 
<laughs> I'd expect no less from all of you. <laughs> Fantastically done.
Yeah.